Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a little deep dive into Hulkling, who, as you can see, I already took to rank four. I've used him, he is awesome. But we're gonna go a little bit deeper into this guy here. All right, you can take a look at the uh, details. All right. The uh, block proficiency is decent, but he also has armor rating. And look at his block penetration. Nasty. All right, let's see some of his synergies. Now, I don't really use him with any synergies, so uh, this is interesting with me. Um, we've got Wiccan here. Uh, he is stun immune while he has at least three pierce buffs. That can be useful. All right, Marvel or Marvel. Uh, max shapeshift charges is increased to 12. And she's a good champion to have along with you, as is Wiccan. 50% chance when striking the opponent while unblockable to inflict a non-stacking armor break debuff for 10 seconds. Wow. Reducing armor rating by 500. I like this one, but not so much the synergy partner. And then we've got when striking a tech opponent, 15% per uh, chance per armor up buff. Uh, to gain a non-stacking pierce. Okay, that, that one looks okay, but I, that's not exciting me at all. Now, I like Toad. The number of pierce buffs needed to trigger peak transformations unblockable buff is reduced by one. Ooh, that can be useful. That can be very useful. So, well, we'll, we'll see it when we're playing around with him, but... Um, I believe it's like five to trigger it or something like that. And reducing it by one means that in one combo, you can trigger. Because uh, you're, you're usually hitting into their block. Okay, we, we're going we're gonna to check that one out. That one is interesting. All right, here, Wiccan again. So Wiccan has two synergies with him. Combat power rate. Nice. And let's see, perfect block chance as well. All right. Let's take a look at the signature ability. Personal bulwark buff duration is increased by 2.3 seconds. Personal fury buff duration is increased by 1.3 seconds. Armor penetration for each active personal pierce buff. So what this looks like to me is basically more damage and makes him a little tougher. That's what it looks like. So he doesn't really need to be awakened, but if you're going to be using him, I would want his signature ability uh, up there. But he doesn't even need to be awakened. He is still an awesome champion without all that. All right. Advanced Kree Scroll Physiology. Provides full immunity to poisons, the poisons and shocks of the battle realm. There's not that many that are poison and shock immune. So that gives him a very interesting uh, utility for some poison and shock. I like it. Additionally, the mystical Excelsior sword protects Hulkling's energy, granting immunity to power drain, steal, and burn, and reducing incoming heal block duration by two seconds flat. That is really nice and useful. There are nodes in Alliance War where he is great because he's immune. And not only that, but if you look at the next one, when Hulkling prevents an effect via immunity. He gains one shapeshift charge, and we'll talk about that uh, shapeshifting later. Offensive combat power rate is decreased by 20. That's fine. Uh, attack rating for each unique buff Hulkling has. That gives him a lot of damage. All right. Here's the shapeshift charges. He can get a max of eight. Start the fight with three. 
and gain one charge every one second while not attacking with basic attacks or being struck. Okay? Uh, Shapeshift charge is converted into a buff when Hulkling performs certain gameplay actions. These buffs each last 16 seconds and can stack up to four times. Whenever a Shapeshift buff is gained, Hulkling also passively gains 7% of a bar of power. So that kind of counteracts the offensive combat power rate. It's decreased by 20%, but he's going to be gaining power in another way. So don't worry, you're not going to feel like he's really slow to get his power. Okay, as long as you're playing with this. All right. So here are the actions, you know, they talked about up here um, when he performs certain gameplay actions. Well, here are the certain gameplay actions. You hit into their block and you convert. What do you convert? Shape, shift, charge. All right. So you got eight max. And now you're going to convert them into something. So say you have eight of them. You hit into the block. You're going to get a pierce buff up to four times. So hit into the block, one, two, three, four. You got four pierce buffs if you have eight shape shift charges already. Strike with a light or medium, and it's converted into an aptitude buff, increasing the potency of fury, armor, and precision buffs by 18%, which is really nice. A well-timed block, which is a parry, uh, that converts into a bulwark buff, incre uh, increasing block proficiency. Remember what I said about his um, signature ability? That bulwark is just making him stronger, tougher. Struck by the opponent, convert into a regeneration buff, healing 65% of the damage taken from the strike. So let's let's talk about this for a little bit because this is really, really interesting. You have the control of what buffs you will get based on what happens. So say you built up your shapeshift charges and you don't hit into the block. Well, you're not going to get the pierce. You don't do any light or medium attacks, okay? You won't get the aptitude. You don't parry. You don't get the bulwark, okay? And if you get hit, you now get a regeneration buff if you haven't already converted those buffs into something else. So this is really nice. Um, it gives you a lot of utility. You've got sustainability. You've got damage. You've got pretty much everything you need right here if you play them right. Very, very nice. Now check this out. Every five, and I was right, every five Pierce buffs uh, gained also grants an unblockable buff for five seconds. So you see, if you were hitting into their block, okay, hit into the block, convert to a Pierce. So you hit into the block, you're most likely not going to hit into the block five times because You'll go unblockable, but they'll be hitting you. So that synergy by reducing by one means you can go one, two, three, four into the block. And the fifth one you'll be unblockable for and you will hit them. That can be very nice. Otherwise, you just need to back off um, and not try to, to do all of that if you want all of those pierce buffs which do a lot of damage. It's, it's awesome. This guy is really good. Every eight regeneration buffs gain also grants <clears throat> an indestructible buff for 2.5 seconds, reduced to every five buffs when fighting as a defender. Okay. If either of these buffs are nullified, they are replaced with identical passives, and their duration is three seconds longer. Wow. Now, mind you, all of this is at peak transformation, okay? Keep that in mind. <clears throat> uh, both uh, the indestructible buff and passive are removed after being struck by the opponent's special three. Okay, so that's, that's nice. Heavy attacks inflicts a non-stacking intimidate debuff. We remember intimidate from Hercules 
making the opponent less aggressive and reducing their block proficiency. Now, the um, what is what is Hercules? It's not it's not intimidate. Um, Hercules has a, a a different buff that he um or a debuff rather that he puts on. Let me let me take a look real quick here uh, on Aunt May and look up. Let's see here, champion info and cosmic. Where are you? There you are, Hercules, Hercules. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Okay. Infuriate. Okay, so his is infuriate. This is intimidate. Um, so Hercules has the infuriate which makes them more aggressive. He has a uh, intimidate, which makes them less aggressive and reduces their block proficiency. That's interesting. Um, I did not know that uh, about him. That's something new. All right, so special attacks. Next 10 seconds, the time between gaining shapeshift charges is decreased to 0 0.5. If Hulkling is or becomes unblockable during this attack, pause all of his personal buffs other than unblockable, until two seconds after this attack. Okay, so if you get a whole bunch of pierce and, you know, like the four pierce and the fifth one is going to make him unblockable, you're good. So that means you can gain four pierce and then throw this special into their block and you're good. Special two, on activation, gain a fury. Increasing attack rating by, you know, for 10 seconds. If Hulkling is or becomes unblockable during this attack, gain another Fury. Increasing attack rating. Um, that's really nasty to do uh, when they are blocking. I'll tell you that. Gain four Pierce buffs and then fire your special two into their block. It is nasty. And if you have some aptitude, those Furies are increasing the attack rating by even more. And then finally, Special Attack 3. If he has at least two Bulwark Shapeshift buffs, pause two of them for the remainder of the fight once per fight. So you can make him tougher with the Special 3 for the rest of that fight. If he doesn't have enough Bulwark or they're already paused, Pause aptitude instead, then pierce. Interesting. If Hulkling doesn't have enough of any bulwark, aptitude, or pierce, or all are paused, he instead gains shapeshift charges up to their max. Interesting. So, as you can see, this guy is... He's not that simple, but he's not that difficult to uh, play. And like I said, I've already been using him, and he is awesome. So we're going to play around in um, Realm of Legends, and I'll try to showcase a little bit of what we were talking about, um, hidden to their block, um, the Pierce buffs, and all of that good stuff uh, while we're fighting Winter Soldier, all right? So be right back. Okay, we're going to go in with just Hulkling. Uh, I will play around with his synergies another time, but I wanted to just kind of showcase a little bit about what he could do. Now, we're going to have two fights. This first fight against Winter Soldier, I'm pretty much getting warmed up, okay? So one of the things I want you to notice is that his shapeshift charges are going up pretty quickly, okay? It's not going to take a long time. And then you see I had enough of them. I hit into his block, and I started getting the Pierce buffs, Okay. And I have some of the um, uh, aptitude as well. All right. So with those four Pierce buffs, look at his damage. He's doing some really good damage already. Okay. He is actually a pretty powerful um, champion. Now, I wanted to fire the special three, 
mainly because Winter Soldier was not playing nicely. Uh, one of the things that I have noticed with the AI currently is that when you fight against an AI and you need them to like hold block so that you can hit into the block to do something, that's when they're more aggressive. And then vice versa, okay? But anyway, you can see here, I'm building up the aptitudes. Um, I don't have, at this point, I don't have any shape shift. Okay, now I got one. Okay, now I don't have any. You see how it goes. So if you ever wonder why uh, you're not getting the buffs converted, that's why. Um, it's actually somewhat counter to my style. Uh, I'm usually very, very aggressive. And if you're too aggressive, you won't be building up your shapeshift charges. And so you won't be converting them. But look at this. We got the uh, unblockable because we got enough of the uh, pierce. And look at that damage. That is some really nasty damage, okay? He is really powerful. And hitting into the block, by the way, look at the pierce buffs. Look at how much damage I'm doing into his block. It's a lot. OK, so whether they're blocking or not, doesn't matter. Uh, like I said, I do a little bit better uh, showcasing some of his other thing, uh, other abilities, other buffs uh, in the next fight. OK, but that's why you see me still hitting into his block now right there. I didn't have any um, any of the Pierce buffs, so it wasn't that much. And I did get one bulwark. I think it was one, one or two uh, because I got that parry. But the fight was over. OK. So that was okay. You know, like I said, I wasn't trying to go for the most damage ever. I just wanted to uh, showcase a few things and I do a little bit better here. So just watch the um, shape shift charges as I'm building up and I get hit so that I can show you the regen. And I also uh, get an indestructible. So just keep watching. So you see there, I, I built up the uh, pierce until I got my unblockable, okay? And just hitting into the block. And uh, you'll see, I'm, I'm trying to play a little bit slower. Didn't get any crits except on that last one. Um, but look at, look at the damage right here. That's just one. Okay, now I ran into that. Look at his um, regen. Look at the regen. That is is really really nice okay and i do that a couple times so you can see now i am running the recoil masteries the damage masteries whatever you want to call them um so bear that in mind his damage is a bit inflated because of that and you see how i kept trying to hit into her block and then she kept uh you know dropping her block and all that that's little shenanigans the ai sometimes does all right, but just look at this. So this time I was like, okay, let's just go. I wanna, I wanna um, see if I can't trigger his uh, indestructible. So look at that. I got, um, and it's a max of four of the converted buffs. All right, I believe it's a max of four. There's the bulwark uh, from the parry. There I did an intimidate so she would block a little bit more. Okay, and then that time I fired the uh, special, got the unblockable. All right, so that was nice. See, I'm getting hit here. All right, boom, went into it. But look, indestructible. Very nice, very nice. He is one tough guy. And if you've ever fought against him, you know how tough he is. So yeah, I like him. I like him a lot. That's why I took him up. Look at that. I fired the special into the block, went unblockable during the special. Um, I wanted to show that as well. So um, that was a, a little bit of a better showcase. But um, in any case, that is going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Did you learn anything? Do you have any other tips or tricks you want to share with everybody? Leave a comment below. And you all have a blessed day.